Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making foaming liquid hand soap. Making hand soap like this is kind of a big deal because my channel has grown because of my cold process soaps, which is a completely different thing. And that process results in the soap bars that I sell in my company. But I've wanted to make liquid hand soap for so long because I know not everybody is a big fan of the bar soap. When it comes to bathrooms and kitchens, sometimes it's more convenient to have the soap in this form. So in today's video, I will be showing you how I make this. And if that is something you're interested in, then keep watching. So for this hand soap, I wanted it to be a nice summery, fruity type of hand soap because I'm going to be using it in the next couple of months. So I decided to scent it in Quenchberry. And this is part of the fragrance line that I collaborated with Fizzberry on. And the scent is a berry vanilla type, but there's a little bit of citrus in there. So it's kind of unique. So I think this is going to be the perfect scent for this hand soap. And to keep it the berry theme, we are going to add the littlest bit of hot pink dye because it's a mostly water-based product. And you want a water-soluble colorant so that it easily disperses in the product, but it also doesn't settle to the bottom like a mica would. And to package these hand soaps, we're gonna be using these foamer bottles that I got from Fizz Fairy. And these are kind of hard to find right now. So I'm really glad that Fizz Fairy is offering these. So without further ado, let me jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is measure out my surfactants and today my surfactants are cocomito propylbetaine and foaming apple. So I'm pouring first the cocomito propylbetaine. Hope I'm saying that right. Next I'm going to be adding my foaming apple. And I was always curious about whether or not foaming apple smells like apples. It smells like nothing. <laughs> so if you're curious about that, it doesn't. <laughs> has zero scent. So here are my surfactants and I'm now going to mix everything else but first I'm going to measure out my waters. To make this hand soap I'm using distilled water and if you're making any type of lotion or water-based product I highly recommend you stick with distilled water. This has none of the minerals that your tap water has so you're really reducing the chance that your product will contain contaminants. We really want our products to be as clean as possible. So here's my distilled water. I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up a little bit so I can dissolve some of my powdered ingredients into here. So I've warmed up my water a little bit and now I'm going to add my panthenol to the water. And the warmth of the water will help this dissolve a little bit better. I'm using a powdered panthenol. But you can use a liquid one as well. And the reason why I'm adding panthenol to this formulation is that the surfactants although they're gentle, can really cleanse the skin to a point where it's a little drying. So we wanna add some goodies back into this hand wash so that it feels nourishing and pleasant on the skin. So I've added my panthenol. Now I'm going to add the littlest bit of water soluble dye to this warm water. And the warmth of the water will help the dye dissolve a little bit faster. And I learned my lesson from the last time I tried to use dye to color my water-based product, and that was when I tried to color my body wash green. It was a very dark green, so you only need the littlest, littlest amount. So I'm just gonna add it to my water. It's literally just the tiniest sprinkling on top, and I'm going to stir it all in until everything is dissolved. And you can see it's turning this nice pink color. So I'm going to add this colored water to my surfactants. And now we're going to combine the rest of our ingredients and add them to this uh, container here. Our next ingredient is aloe vera juice. And I think this is a great ingredient to add for summertime. It's gonna go right into here. Our next ingredient is some PEG-6 caprylic, capric triglycerides. And this is a great emollient that helps to replenish skin. I've been using it more in my products and definitely feel a difference. It's such a nice, ingredient that goes right into here too. Next we're adding some glycerin and I like adding glycerin to my water-based products because it doesn't separate from water and it really helps draw moisture to your skin. It is a wonderful humectant I think is the term. Our next ingredient is propanediol 1-3 and this is another excellent ingredient. It actually is a skin penetrating enhancer. So any of your goodies that you're adding to your products, if you have 
some propanediol in there. That will help your skin accept those goodies even better. <laughs> it also really helps improve skin moisture as well, which is always a good thing, especially when you're working with surfactant based products. That's gonna go in here. Next, we're adding some Honey Quat PF, and this is a super powerful humectant. And like Listerin, it draws moisture to the skin, but it's a little bit more concentrated, so you don't need as much. A note on this though, if you add it to your products, you can't call your products vegan because Honey Quat comes from honey, hence the name Honey Quat. Next we have hydrolyzed oat protein, and this special ingredient helps add and retain moisture to your skin, and it also adds softness, which is awesome. I love this in my hair products, because it really helps to add shine and softness to my hair. It's gonna go in here. The next ingredient is an important one, and this is D-limonene and it helps to cut grease and that's important in a hand soap because if you are washing dishes and your hands get greasy you really want your hand soap to clean your hands properly and this one smells like lemons <laughs> it smells very citrusy you don't want to add too much because it's pretty powerful but also it has a strong citrus smell which could interfere with the scent of your product i mean you might want that <laughs> i mean especially for hand soap it's nice to have the smell of lemons by your sink, but we want a fruity product today. It is quite strong smelling and it was, it was kind of hard to pour it out of that bottle. Next time I'm going to use a dropper for that. Uh, but man, that smells very strongly of lemons. It's going in there. And now we're gonna add our quench berry fragrance oil. I'm not going to pour it straight out of this bottle. I'm gonna use a dropper for this one. I've learned my lesson. Oh, that smells lovely. So I'm going to add this fragrance oil into my hand soap. So this scent combined with the D-limonene, I really hope I'm saying that right, is heavenly. It's a fresh berry scent with warm vanilla in there. And that is gorgeous. For a little bit of extra goodness, we are gonna be adding some green tea liquid extract. And that will help with our hands and getting them nice and soft again. The last ingredient is probably our most important one and that is our preservative because there is mostly water in here. We want to keep that as germ-free as possible. So that is where our Liquid Dermal Plus comes in. So we are gonna stir this very slowly and not vigorously because if we stir it vigorously or with an immersion blender, it's gonna kick up a ton of bubbles and that's gonna make it really difficult to pour this into our foam foamer bottles. <laughs> Having a hard time saying foamer bottles. So the scent of D-limonene mixed with quenchberry is kind of like a raspberry lemonade scent <laughs> that I was not expecting or even like a watermelon lemonade but it smells amazing it's very summery so we have mixed everything together so at this point you can go ahead and test your ph and if it reads higher than six you might want to add some citric acid solution to bring that ph down to make it a more milder hand soap i've already tested this guy and i know his ph is around the five to six range which is perfect for me and I'm going to pour him into my bottles now. So to fill these bottles, I'm gonna use this little funnel. And I don't know if you can see it in the frame, but down here at my phone, I've been trying to film more content for TikTok. And every time I am doing anything related to my business, I try to capture it on camera. If you wanna follow me on TikTok, this is my TikTok right here. <laughs> I feel like on TikTok, pouring videos are really popular and satisfying. I'm just gonna get that. Oh, it's on slow-mo. I don't want that. Okay, so let's get this going here. We're really slowly and carefully. Okay, I'm gonna see if that amount is okay because we want room for the pump bottle to go inside. Yeah, 
we need a little bit more. Okay. Okay. So this pump lid is on here nice and tight. And here we have our bottle of hand soap. And don't worry, I will be demoing this for you guys. Let's fill up that other bottle. So for the second bottle, I brought you a little bit closer. We're going to pour into our bottles. And this didn't fill quite up to the top, but that's okay. This will be my personal use one. And there we go, another bottle of hand wash. So now that I've made it, I'm gonna go ahead and demo it for you guys and show you how this pump bottle works. So here we are at my kitchen sink and I'm gonna demonstrate how this works right over here. So I'm just gonna wet my hands and then I'm gonna grab some of that hand soap by pushing down on this pump bottle. And here we have this delicious foam that I can just rub on my hands and rinse off. So there you have it. As you can see from the footage of me demoing the soap, it is a wonderful foamy soap and it lathers so well and it smells amazing. After a few uses, it definitely smells like a berry lemonade and I think it's because of that limonene, D-limonene ingredient. So if you are not wanting that, maybe cut it down a little bit more, but it really helps getting your hands clean because it is a really nice degreaser. Thank you to Fizzberry for sending me the fragrance oil and these filmer bottles. I think it's really cool that there are other soap companies out there now that offer these filmer bottles because for me it was really hard to find them. And you can now get these from Fizzberry's website. There is a link in my description box below. And if you want this recipe with all of the steps written out and all of the ingredients in percentages, that is over on my Patreon. I have that linked in my description box. Speaking of Patreon, thank you to my patrons. This noise is Gibson. Um, chasing his tail. <laughs> Gibson, I'm trying to film an outro here. Speaking of my Patreon, thank you so much to my patrons. Your support means so much to me, especially these guys, my bubble BFFs. And over on there, you'll find my other recipes and that is where you will have a guaranteed response from me. Thank you to everyone who messages me on there and have told me your stories. You guys are so inspiring yourselves. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that is it. Until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome, keep making beautiful, amazing things like liquid foaming hand soap. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.